video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to apply a theme or a skin to your Mac on Running Leopard. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a version for this, a version of this for Tiger, but I forgot the name. Hold on. Magnifique for Tiger. Um, I think the program is Shapeshifter. Yeah, it's shape Shapeshifter, I think. So if you're running Tiger, you can use Shapeshifter. I'm going to search that and put it in the description just so you know. Um, you should also check out technosexuality.tumblr.com. I found this website through the guy who created it on YouTube, Ponage Tutorials, so check him out and subscribe. He's really awesome and he has great tutorials and he's really funny. So that's just a random fact, random shout out. He doesn't know that I'm doing this, that I'm doing this. So just help him out. Um, yeah. So you can go to HTTP magnifiqueapp.com and click download now and then scroll down and download it right there this link will be in the description so download that and then you come to this right here here's the application here's how to download or where to download more and here's like a bunch of themes but you don't need that because they just got an update and it really really helped it out so oh you can see right here if I open the application it has a really nice layout and this theme is hard to see so I don't really like this theme so I'm gonna show you how to uninstall or you don't need to see how to install it you can just click that button but if you want to install another one, you just you don't have to un uninstall it first. You can just click Apply Now. But if you can't read this, this says right here, Make a Theme, which is really awesome. I'm not going to show you how to do it, though, right now. Um, rename Theme, Restart Finder for when you apply it. It'll You have to restart your Finder to see it. Or if you did a Doc Theme, you can just click Restart Doc. Show the, the plugin in Finder. So, just click that and it shows the plugin for that theme. So, there's also View Full Preview, which is also really nice. So, it, you click that and it opens the selected theme in, in Preview. And Theme Mixer, which is actually really, really cool. Because you can mix two themes or three themes together. The Dock theme, you can take a dock theme from any theme that you have and mix it with like a system theme and a custom mod so and you can title it and everything and you can once you've done it you can take a snapshot of it and apply it to the preview of this theme that you just made so like you take a snapshot and you select that PNG so that's all about the task the uh, the toolbar. So yeah, as you can see, you can customize it, and that's really cool. But you don't really need that. Here's the available downloads, which is really nice. You can just browse any theme to download, and it'll load the preview. And there you go. And it will load in your default browser because you haven't downloaded it, so it can open in preview. But as you can see, this is a really nice theme. It's kind of blurry though. Um, but yeah, here's this apple red, which I have right here. This is an earlier version of it. As you can see, the snapshot's different. But anyways, you can download this and apply it, which is on what am I gonna? What is what I'm going to do right now? So just highlight it, click it, and click apply now click apply system theme because sometimes they don't have doc theme or custom mods so just click apply type your password 
and it will apply in like seconds. It's great. So there you go. Click restart finder. And then if it's not um in the app actual application has not like changed, that's because you need to quit it. And then anytime you open a new window or anything, it should be in your theme as long as it supports it. So thanks for watching. Um have fun theming your Mac or skinning your Mac, whatever it is, same thing, and please rate, comment, and subscribe, and goodbye.